Hello YouTube, everybody's sleeping so I'm gonna be making this video a little bit, uh, but anyway, this person wrote on my forum a very quick interview, I'm currently writing a college paper on the Amish lifestyle, my main goal is to educate people because I feel the Amish are very misunderstood people, the requirement is to interview someone from the community, which is obviously a little difficult, but I stumbled across this forum hoping y'all could help out. I just have a few questions, if you could answer them, however briefly or lengthy you would like. Forgive me if I seem a little ignorant on all aspects of Amish life also. Where do you live? Where did you live when you were Amish and what? were some of your restrictions, technology mainly, or you can just talk a little bit about your former community. Whatever you want to say. Okay, well I was Swartz Troop Amish. First we lived in uh, Homerville, Ohio. Then we moved to Shreve for about four years. and. And then I left for left the Amish when I was 13. For well, I was just gone for like three days. But anyway, then I came back and we moved to um, to a Worcester address, which wasn't that too far away, like 10 miles away, to my brother's place. And there I stayed for a couple more years. And, uh, after my dad's accident, about a year after that, and and then I then left um, at 18. That was 11 years ago. Next month, by the way. Um, the restrictions. Um, we were uh, they were down. Spurgeon Bromish is one night that I'm from. And they say that we're one of the one of the strictest Amish groups that there are. Um, now there are, I believe, I would say we're probably one of the, the two strictest groups that, that, that there are actually. Um, and they have. have a lot more restrictions on technology, um, no, no electricity in the house, or well, in any buildings on their property. Uh, we're not actually allowed to, to use uh, construction, as construction tools like sourcing trip, uh, the, like the old orders and the new orders may do that. And so the technology that they were allowed to use were like little Honda engines, um, uh, diesel engines for like a sawmill or whatnot, but not not as a, a car and so forth. Um, what made you decide to leave the Amish community? I think at 13 when I it was had to do with my uncle and some stuff he did to uh, make me want to leave. Before that I was not sure whether or not I was going to stay or not, but that's what uh, I decided to leave at, at about 13. Uh, what sort of beliefs do you practice now? Um, I'm still a Christian. I, I'm not currently going to church or anything, but I still believe in, in God and, and Jesus and all that. Are you still able to communicate with family members and friends inside the Amish community? Yes, I actually could, yes. Um, I was not shunned. I was not a member, so I'm, or I'm not shunned and, and could communicate with them. However, I, I don't really come in contact with them as much as I uh, as you might expect, uh, I don't go back there that often. I have my own life. Um, or does your particular community practice shunning? Yes, they do. Um, I was just not 
a member, so uh, so no, I'm not shunned. Uh, and that and that movie, Sex Drive, that girl. Well, <laughs> that was as in, in inaccurate how she said that she um, if she would not go back, she would be shunned. That is just not that's not how it works. But it was a funny movie, but. In fact, I, I kind of like that line about, uh, all right, because I'm Amish, I wouldn't know anything about your GTO judge. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for the, the questions, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Hope that helps you out.